Hey guys, I'm Semiboy, and this is my early game guide for Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight's main goal during the early game is not necessarily to try to kill enemy heroes, or to farm a lot, or anything like that. His main goal is just to make sure that he's able to push towers with his ultimate whenever it's off cooldown. This can be the middle lane tower, or just towers with his team. His power spikes are definitely around his level 6, and as soon as he hits level 6, he hits a massive power spike where he can actually do stuff on the map, and can actually take towers really easily. Dragon Knight as a hero picked to come out of the laning stage really well, because it's almost impossible to completely zone him out of lane, and even though he doesn't dominate matchups, he wins a lot of matchups by being able to just outfarm the enemy mid with his really nice space damage and Quelling Blade allowing him to secure almost all the last hits in the lane. That said, he's also able to push towers extremely well, and he's also one of the strongest tower pushers in the game due to his corrosive breath on his level 6 ultimate. During the laning phase as Dragon Knight, you can lane against a ton of different mids just due to the fact that it's almost impossible to zone you. You want to position yourself in a way that you're able to secure last hits, and the enemy is forced to harass you. Generally, when the enemy is forced to harass you, they're going to be having to tank creep aggro, and they're going to be taking a ton of damage from the creeps, while you're not going to be taking too much damage from them due to the fact that you have really high armor and you have really high HP region anyway. So you can trade really aggressively and you can even tank creeps really well so that you can actually just trade into them even if the creep wave is hitting you. Generally though you'll want to be using breathe fire to constantly harass them as well as get a CS. You want to wait for a creep to get low and then use breathe fire to both get the CS and to harass the enemy mid. That way you get the damage debuff on them and it makes it harder for them to last hit and you can maybe secure some denies as well. Generally on Dragon Knight, you're not really going to be looking to set up ganks before you're level 6, as it's going to be really hard to use Dragon Tail. But once you're level 7 and you have Dragon Tail, or even level 6 if you have Dragon Tail early, you can definitely use Ultimate and then immediately use Dragon Tail and then have your teammates or supports follow you up and be able to gank an enemy mid laner. Or go to a side lane and use your Ultimate and Dragon Tail combo to try to gank a side laner as well. Generally, he's a really strong hero to gank for mid, as it allows you to push the mid tower easily. And he's not really a hero that wants to leave the mid lane and gank other lanes. So you generally want to have your supports rotate to your lane. After a successful gank on the mid lane, or if the enemy mid laner is leaving, or even if he's there and you feel like you can pressure aggressively because the enemy supports are showing on the map, you definitely want to put pressure on the enemy tower. Generally what you want to do is you want to pop your ultimate and then attack the tower once before going back to either harassing the enemy mid laner or using the um, corrosive breath to get creeps uh, pushed into the enemy tower quickly by just constantly attacking every single creep on the wave. Generally, you want to be constantly moving in a circle with your attacks. AKA, I attack the tower once, then I try to attack the enemy mid laner, then I try to attack every single creep in the creep wave. This allows me to constantly be pushing in all the creeps towards the enemy tower, while also getting a ton of different damage sources on everybody. So I get a ton of damage on the tower, a ton of damage on the enemy mid laner, and a ton of damage on the creeps. Along with that, I'll also be constantly using my ultimate whenever I see the opportunity to push towers with my team. I don't really want to gank the side lanes, but I'll definitely go to an off lane or a safe lane tower and actually just push it with my team if I feel like we need to get that tower, or if it's really important for one of my teammates games to have that tower. Sometimes that'll be a hero such as Annie Mage, where I need to open up farm on the map for him, so I'll go to his lane and then I'll take the safe lane tower so he can then back off and stay in the jungle. Or I'll even go to the enemy offlane tower and take that tower so my enemy mage can rotate down to the other part of the map. It definitely depends on what my team needs and what my team wants to do, but in general, if I'm ganking a side lane, I'll generally try to push a tower there instead of just ganking and going back mid. On Dragon Knight, you don't really want to be pushing lanes too much. You'll generally just want to be using Breathe Fire to push out the lanes quickly and then rotate back into either the fog to go to the jungle or to go push a tower with your team. You don't really want to be staying alone too much on Dragonite, as where you're really strong is with your team pushing towers. That said, you should always be carrying a TP on Dragonite in case you need a counter gank, and after you counter gank, you should definitely be looking to push the tower in the lane that you just counter gank. To summarize, Dragonite's main goal during the early game is just to push towers, whether that be the mid lane tower, or enemy towers in the safe lane, or off lane with your team. You want to make sure that you're pressuring the enemy every time you have your ultimate. Even if you don't successfully finish the tower off, you want to be using your ultimate whenever you can to constantly be pushing towers and constantly apply pressure on the map to give space for your teammates or just to force the enemy to respond to you and to force the enemy to actually stop their farming and deal with you as a hero.
Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to check out the rest of the Dragon Knight course.